whatever you do. Here, growling. What did you say, Drew? Do not pack the tents. Okay. Oh, um. We'll lose literally Incoming. everything in them. Oh dear. Oh boy, try to shoot once. We are really yeah. low on 556. Five, Don't trust Steven to shoot. Oh my god, there's more coming. There's more coming. Uh oh. They went in a zigzag formation. Fuck your zigzag. That's a zombie. That's a fucking zombie. That's not a, that's not a survivor. <laughs> On the right. Uh, I'm about to be overrun. I'm not even kidding. Boo, cherry, boo. Oh, okay. oh, shut up. Oh, wow, we got a lot coming. Just... More they wrong, wrong, right. it. I didn't do anything. I went out and grabbed Little Barry, and he's the one that dragged it in. You just shoot Hudson? <laughs> Three more coming. Okay. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I think I just shot you by accident, but sorry. Nah, I'm okay. Cover Hudson. Okay, we got it. Try to get elevated. Get on the stairs. Get on the stairs on the fucking west side over here. Let's try to get elevated and force him up the stairs. Just lost. How do we lose tents? Just not. Four outside on the street. God, we are straight up over fucking run. I'm going upstairs. Get up those stairs. Shit. Shit, who got hit? Uh, hey, I found a folded tent up here if one of you want to grab that. Since, uh, zombie just tackled a tent. Just tanked upon it, oh my god. I'm not the one that spawned all these zombies in. This was just part of a horde. Uh a randomly generated horde. Uh, this town didn't have anything in it, so I guess them spawning in... No, it couldn't have been them spawning in. It was just, uh... When the map's loaded, there's random hordes that roam, so I think a horde just came into town. Was this a packing bandage? Okay. It's that very rare opportunity where Liru gets to do a little bit of playing in his own scenario. Sound good. We're just going to begin the mission here. Screw it. I mean, uh, you know why? <laughs> Dare to be different, I guess. Have a few looters come in. Just, uh, Make this a little chaotic. Uh, I, I feel awful, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Not I'm gonna bandage your arm. Bullet wound over over zombie bite. Oh, I've got no fucking mags for this pistol. Yeah, one of the zombies got in the tent and thrashed the heck out of it. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm pushing. Well, no, go ahead and push up with everyone. Else. Oh, look, the well. Hey, they just shot at us. I don't think so. I found you guys off the solo.
Too close. Down low. By the... I'm gonna go back downstairs. Down here, I can't, I can't see him from the tree. Down here, you can show that. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, okay, I got a chem light. That guy had the gun that was shooting at us. Wow. Yeah, yeah, just keep keep lighting these guys up. It looks like more of those fucking bandits, I guess, our shots attracted them. Just hold security. Yeah, so For at least the medical minutes, stuff survived, we'll but all the utility stuff. These guys and talk about what we're going to do. At least I can check inventories here. Whew. Bunton, if you can hear me, make sure you don't loot any, uh, or load any optional so mods. Go down on the first floor and check the tent and get whatever they need, and then start pushing out to where we just shot those guys, and they get, grab some guns and ammo. Uh, all right, well... Uh, from the, uh, last, uh, yesterday, we, uh, were camped out at a Blackhawk, and we decided to come down south. We found some, uh, information about a, uh, potential cure, and, uh, it mentioned to go about, uh, on, uh, other hospitals to, uh, try to find out, uh, if they got shipments of the cure as well. But they also mentioned um, someone taking those uh, samples of the cure and leaving with them with force. Uh, what I'd recommend for you today is uh, because there's hospitals all over this map and it's a big map, uh, try to find some sort of vehicle. But otherwise, keep heading south and uh, see what you can find. Uh, overall, I'd say remind your guys that uh, everyone can look through a pile of backpacks and find something different. Same goes with uh, the dead zombies. Uh, someone might find something that someone else does not. Uh, make sure to unpack the tents fully and bring those with you, because when you decide to uh, camp for the night, uh, deploying tents will help increase your inventory room. And yeah, it's open world. Good luck, have fun. All right, someone unpack that black tent in the corner of all the shit in it. Jesus, we're not kidding about the amount of fucking impossible. Just make sure you take everything out of it before you unpack it, otherwise uh, everything in there is uh, right gets broken. Those are Am I looking? Are those churches? Am I marking churches? You're Instead looking. Of you need to find the asterisk. Hey, yeah, it's Leo, asterisk, not students. the uh, cross. Hope this helps. Stay awesome. Lightning uh, Gamer, it really it does, man. Thank you so much. I hope Southeast you keep enjoying thing. the operations, man. I hope you enjoy uh, tonight's op. We get to be a little more chill this op because I just explain, you know, what I spawn in, what I keep ambient, and uh, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. But seriously, thanks for the hundo. Uh, I know Bloodwing wants Texas Day Brazil this Saturday, so I'll uh, one way up in Sebring, looks I'll like. go uh, surprise her with that hundo. So seriously, I, I can't thanks. Very much, but um, I've got two tents on me. If I know my uh, my personal road. funding's a little low right now because I had to finalize making my last college payment today. So be my guess. That's been great. Are you hurt, Stephen? Uh, I don't think so. Can you still hear me? I may be bruised. Oh, your still. arms. Uh, here, I'll pack you. Don't worry, Mudson. You'll see your wife soon. You should do an American I've Boogaloo series scenario. Oh, scenario. What's an American um, Boogaloo scenario? Because there's a lot of different places that can go. Got <laughs> you got to define the level of Boogaloo up. there. And I got a micro dagger. <laughs> Guys, we're officially started, so you need to lock it up. Uh, 
Oh, a Civil War Texas boogaloo. Is that what you're going for? I really thought about yeah, it, but at I the same the time, I don't really want to... I don't really want to go political with that, so. you know? Uh, I don't know what we can do. Let's go to that ATV and see if we can pull a tire off of it. Biggest problem we've been finding... All right, again, I'm just uh, deleting the new zombies that spawn since they already seem to kill a horde that come, uh, came in. Are we, are we wanting to pack this tent up? Is there anything in that? There's still stuff in it. I mean, we'll lose all the stuff, so... I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll we carry can't it. Make it. There's too much inside. You're gonna, you're gonna carry it, Leroy? Yeah, I'll, I'll pick up what I can. All right, cool, thank you. This is a lot of shit. I'll just make a mental note of what's in that inventory and we can claim that I went with them to carry it. That shouldn't be too bad. But anyway, uh, if you guys want to see the ground perspectives, we've got Drumheller streaming, uh, who is right here, aka Jester814. We've got Steven streaming, aka Pigeon Hunter, and we have Littleberry streaming, aka 506 Littleberry. <laughs> So, uh, points of interest. First off, there is a boat that has spawned close by them. Whether or not they actually go to that is anyone's guess. They did go up to this uh, MATV. Uh, there is a single wheel on it. There will be a spare wheel in its inventory if they want to uh, take that. But other points of interest is uh, this area, which will spawn in uh, a mini horde right here. Uh, there's nothing major in here. It's just kind of for ambience. Uh, the second position of interest is over here. We have a Crash C-130. It does have an ammo crate inside that does have a few grenades and even some uh, 40 mic mic, you know, M203 ammunition. Uh, so under barrel grenades and some, uh, a few 506, uh, excuse me, uh, 556 mags. The group's called the 506. Uh, we have this position over here, which is uh, kind of an abandoned place where people used to live. Uh, I'm going to have it attacked by some bandits uh, coming in. I couldn't get the trigger to work right because uh, the zombies kept triggering it for some reason, so I'm just going to manually do it. Uh, down here, we don't have anything of importance. I do have a, a synced destroyer over there. I'm also going to have some gunshots go off over here. We'll get to that when we get to that. And then we also have this bridge because you can't hide the bridge assets and... My submarine decided to not be... Okay, that's a little annoying, Mr. Sub. You had your simulation disabled, and yet you decided to re-enable it. That's okay. Um, I gotta find a way to block you now with this. Okay, well... Hopefully it'll slide down and fully block that route, but yeah, I'm trying to basically deny that for... Uh any sort of movement because you can't hide that area so so the joke guys is uh this is hurricane pass and it it looks like a hurricane blew a bunch of shit it's it's i <sighs> i know i can disable sim and zeus but it'll be worth it if they actually go down there which i doubt they will because instead they're gonna go for uh hospital locations instead Interesting enough, we do have an AI patrol that spawned down by one of them. That's uh, part of the dynamic mission uh, simulation with Vanderson's Apocalypse. But, uh, let's see. Remind you guys how this was made. It was uh, made with a mix of Ravage and Vanderson's Apocalypse. I also took something so, from Makarov from the uh, TSB assets. Uh, just to borrow his AR-15 configs, which turned some of the 5.56 rifles into single-shot rifles, one, disabling the fully automatic setting. now yeah i have no way to fit in my backpack no neither do i so what is what was... there's nothing to scavenge when yeah. you tried to scavenge before did it let you try to take the tire off oh, i didn't even see... oh. i i couldn't even do that i could not do that before so Whew. oh it let me replace a wheel what did you have a wheel on you? No. Okay. 
You need a toolkit. Yeah, give me the toolkit. Yep. Okay. I'll send my... I... Oh, okay. You want to take it? Trying to remember. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Do you have one now? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we have so a toolkit to take the tires off the, to convert it from the ACE it's system. Just a tire. It's just tire. Okay. All right. Let's move. We're going to push up this road. Yeah, Trooper's not here. You're also going to see a lot of new names because zombies are really niche. Um, I told Drum I'm perfectly okay to switch this campaign out. Uh, cause I know zombies are very, very niche for people. So, um, but he wants to keep pushing with it and it's his, it's his night. He's allowed to do whatever. I just want to make sure everyone has a good time. That, uh, now I am going to hide myself just so zombies don't come up and eat me while I'm busy uh, watching them and let's see it's uh, about eight people which is a good number for this type of scenario anyway Yeah, we can throw some cargo containers up there, too. Again, it's only if I need to. You still want to minimize the amount of uh, assets you put in. Do I have any uh, skeletons? No, but I do. Oh, actually, I do. Okay, cool. I always forget that these exist. to throw some around. And there's the horde spawning. The real loot's gonna be everyone going through those vehicles. And let's go ahead. I know the server will take care of them automatically, but it's something I don't want to get out of the habit of. I've never played Stellaris. Probably should fix that one day, but it's similar to how I've never played the Mass Effect campaign, even though I have a full copy of it sitting at my feet. Just I never have the time. I'm hoping when school finally is done this semester, I'll have the time to finally get into some stuff. Uh... Coach, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't know how you host a private server in Arma 3. I've uh, always had, uh, since I started doing my own stuff, Havoc has always given me a free server, and I've always just used that. I see something in front of us. military compound uh barbarian always sell yourself Best up movement. always always sell yourself up sell. never sell yourself short in a I resume because the resume is what gets your foot in the door uh what i would say though is um go ask Bloodwing barb she she knows a lot about resume building but anyway uh force coming in here again this is just a military complex a little bit of uh just some ambience because I'm trying to uh, they didn't see they didn't find the uh, big town over here and find the little mass grave of the army butchering a bunch of people but you know I'm trying to uh, all of these sites I've already made in the map but you know I'm trying to like show that the world kind of got its head turned upside down Yeah, 
so drama is just uh, baiting all of these. Gunfire will attract a few more walkers. There's some stuff that spawned, and I can't adjust the uh, level at all. Yogi's got to be a little careful here. But again, the real looting's gonna be everyone checking those vehicles should they choose to. Has been dead for a long time. There's been a few uh, long term fatalities here. Got another micro dagger. Batteries just so good. So I would say it's really hard to kind of like try to tell a story without telling a story, you know? Just, just leave a bunch of ambience, let the players figure things out how they like, you know. It's like art. Get put everything down you want to put down. Let people interpret how they want to, and uh, you know, yeah, let yeah, them call the shots. Space in your bag, or here, just pick this up. Protect your little noggin. My little go. noggin. They're giving Yogi an actual helmet because that <laughs> motorbike hat's a little ridiculous. I feel more protected as we speak. See, just make sure to patch yourself up because I mean, you got hit from that. I'm good. Just bruised. Yeah, so you're seeing some guys go through all the uh, vehicles here. I don't know. Again, Drum wanted something that was specifically like a few oh, years later. So I, you know, tried to make something that would showcase that. Is that a fucking skeleton? Take one off out of my backpack. But yeah, like I said in the mission Take command, back, uh, no matter where they decide to end this mission, there will be a uh, a vehicle somewhere. And if it's not at the end of this mission, it'll be nearby uh, in the beginning of the next mission. Because I want to keep the ball rolling, you know what I mean? So, also, we have a camp right here, which I'm not going to lie, I kind of forgot about, but... I send, uh... Two guys to go check things out. We're going to have another guy... Go up here... Another one up there, and I'm gonna garrison the rest. That's the wrong garrison command. Just go check out that gunfire. But you know, this this is probably the closest I'll ever get to Dungeons and Dragons level DMing in Zeus with uh Actually no, that's the statement. Cause you know, with uh Arma scenarios, it's you know, you make everything, you guide everybody, them through it, but this is, you know, a recurring you. story, so It's nice. Not like walker voices, actually like voices voices. Damn, he heard those from far out.
This poor guy with only a shotgun. I think I just nailed that dude. Try to triple time it back. Even a dude. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll make sure he has a heart rate, but... Yeah, so if I CPR him, he'll wake back up. As long as the 506 did not change their medical... But I would hate to kill someone off to a shotgun slug and then no one checked on him. Yeah, I nailed him right in the head with that shot. Hot damn. Apparently, you can't go out of Zeus while you're doing medical. Shot through the pallets. Alright, Griggs is back up. He probably woke back up. I don't see any uh, bandages up here. You see a stick of morphine, though, for the pain. Yeah. I'm good. I was like, we're missing someone, right? We won't do uh, an intel piece. This will just be ambient. Actually, no. Better yet. I do have uh, one piece of intel. Partials, maybe. Got an android and a guy with a uh, fucking. Uh, so we'll see if they notice that or just go for the bodies. Yeah, with a bunch of scorpion ammo. Which scorpion? Old scorpion. Or Any tips for repairing an office chair wheel that uh, keeps falling off? 
Not gonna lie, my chair might start going to that soon. The one that looks cool, like an MP5. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do the orca. Which isn't called the orca in this scenario, of course. Well, we just have to go into uh CSATs. Get a KA sixty. Put it off in the distance over here. And it'll be going to that military base, so. And I have to fly on myself, because they, uh... They don't like to fly on their own with, uh, Vandenson. Uh, the intel basically talked about how there's two different types of helicopters. Uh, one filled with military dudes, and the other seems to be filled with dudes in black. But this will give them a hint, because they've seen the uh, UH-60s, but... The, uh, the ka is a new one. Again... I said in the first part of this, uh, I would be introducing the uh, big bad guys. So the camp's right there, they're gonna see this helicopter. But if they keep going along the vaccine route, they're gonna run into uh, the big bad guys. They're the ones with the vaccine. I based them a little off of Umbrella, but... Not by much. I didn't want to completely rip Umbrella, but I wanted like, uh, you know, a spooky bad guy faction. their view since that flew overhead. Base down there. Nothing in this crate. But that is to oh I wonder about a GPS. That's to initiate the gunfight that's gonna happen down here. And I'll eventually respawn that helicopter uh, to be utilized. I'm hoping the uh, Crash C-130 uh, gets looted while that's going on, and then I can have that gunfire go down. Is that two full ones? Yeah. But I'm hoping to tie the... Uh, if any of you have seen the Born Home incident, it's basically... Uh, the Born Home incident, uh, that same op, uh, not op four, but you know, uh, the undercover OG faction that they ended up joining at the end. It's it's the same Maybe faction in that sense. Yeah. How much time we going for it? Like, uh. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, four day type, and they'll never find like, the intel. Someone actually finds the intel. Intel's really hit or miss. They'll yeah. uh, they'll sometimes find it. Sometimes you gotta yeah, hold their hand, but. It takes one shot to kill zombies. It happens. Also, how you doing, Loster? Why weren't you in this op, Loster? You normally play these free. Yeah, the water's uh, bad. That's okay. You are probably busy. Wink. <laughs> All right, we need to work, work until ten. Yeah, work right. That's what you call her now. <laughs> I cracked myself up. No, I'm pretty much ready to go too. Alright, did that AR, what did that AR have on it? I didn't pick up the AR. Who took the AR off this dead guy? I, I think Monson tricks. did it. No, I did it. Drum, Drum, you only have two mags, and I already have two stacks, so I got that four. That body up there, there's an EOTech and uh, another attachment. I just grabbed the EOTech. 
You will make my night very uncomfortable. Never Let's threaten Liru with that. a good time. So we can siphon fucking fuel. Yeah. I've got that. That's right, copium, Max. Nice. Well, there's a bag here I can say again. <laughs> yeah, there again. On the Jekyll, I think it was. There's some, there's, uh, one so I'm thinking I'll try to get this wrapped up by 11.30ish. Again, I didn't mean for the, the Horde surprise yeah, in the beginning, but it happens. Yeah, I think I still have mags. Mag. I think one of them just pulled out a 20-round magazine in that. Uh, sleeping bag, it's like a 10. What's wrong? Yeah, I'm happy they're getting uh, good stuff out of the camp, even though it's technically RNG, but... I'll read it again if you want. Does anyone not have a, a fucking radio at this Pun point? torture. I think we all have one, right? Griggs, do you have a radio? Yep. Alright. Okay. Well, I noticed that there was up. two helicopters on both flying. 105. Got it. Yogi. What's up? You be my buddy? I guess. It's the worst form of punishment. So you say. I'm just gonna copy more of those skeletons. Since it's the only, like, dead body asset I have. I got time. I don't think end keying them would, uh, I think it just deletes their physics, but. You can imagine why I wouldn't want all of these to be pre-spawned. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to just showcase that there was a horde that showed up, you know? And then in here, I'm literally just going to turn all the skeletons in various directions. We're going to have some float around and shit. Well, not float, but, you know, fly around. So I'm going to delete most of those were out of their view. Yep, so a lot of fucking skeletons. Again, put the ambience out there and let the players make of it what they want. Where are you from to say that's not normal? Kansas? I 
Yes, it's Skyrim in the music in the background, cause Everyone make it to the building. why not? <laughs> I've got I've got no better ideas. <laughs> Zombie stuff going on? Skyrim music. <laughs> oh, that's that's the way to do it. Let's see if there's anything interesting looking in the compound before we do that. We might be able to just leave. Boxes in here. We're definitely gonna stay. I don't think any of them have any angles on this, so. Shh. And they're none the wiser. You think it represents duality of man? Ah. Oh. Everyone's a critic. Oh, right. The Horde. Not sure if they noticed that helicopter. Oh, actually, the C-130, but that's gonna... That's okay, I can always move the box in here. But yeah, that gunfire is going to attract uh, all of that. See, I was hoping they'd kind of come down the road, and then if they looked left, you know, they'd see the, the tail of that top chopper, but instead we went to the camp and they cut through, so. Interesting decisions. So yeah, if that's the case, I'm going to take this out of there, and we're just going to move it to uh, the center, and I'm going to make sure this is put in an angle where uh, it won't... Break. And you know what? I'll be nicer since this is going to be a little hellish. Uh, put five in there. And you know, seven's a good number. Because they're going to basically recreate the events of this. Do you want us to leave this construction building? sound audio has uh, triggered everything. I can't manually add zombies, but I can... I can always teleport to an area and just bring more zombies in, so actually I might just... Uh, cheat that way. Watch, if I just uh, teleport over here, for example, as the Zeus. Oh, they actually might find a working vehicle here. So not as many as I would have liked, but four is better than nothing. We can go shove them right there. And some of them immediately despawned. Here, watch this if you want me to really freak him out. Roger. Checking these other little buildings. Let's see if he notices. I like my little horror elements here and there. I'm 
moving northeast to see one of them. Oh, Yogi. Yogi. I can Yogi. definitely hear more of them, though. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. There's, uh... Alright, who's up there? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> There was a fucking box in here with a bunch of shit. Get on the other side of the staircase. The ammo's meant to be compensation for the fact that they're gonna get swarmed, but you know, there's a few grenades and a few other nice things, so. Alright, I'm gonna teleport back to City 17 over here. I'm gonna get the horde that spawns over there, and I'm gonna spawn it from a different angle, because I want the attack to be kind of in this town, you know? Oh, you found another stag nag, and there's a little scorpion mag right there, too. Ooh, I like how one of the uh, skeletons kind of came up. I want that police vest over there. Stuck over oh. here. Here's some magic. And then they'll just get attracted by the noise. Again, like I said, I'm just a storyteller here. I'm making sure that there's nothing completely off balance that's going to happen. But as they go by, there should be stuff that they can collect. And it keeps things going. Oh, and that gunshot starting to aggro the uh, remaining groups. We also have the crawlers coming in. So this is what I meant to recreate. Kind of making a little history repeats gig. Yeah, stuff can keep spawning. I can keep bringing it in as I see fit. Again, as long as I don't put it right in front of the players, you know, to break their immersion. But when you give them... Um, what, that would have been 210 rounds of 556, five, some grenades and whatnot. You want to make sure that, uh... They don't, uh, they don't, uh, how do I put it? You don't always want to make sure they're hoarding ammo. You want to keep it, uh, keep the ammo count always at a questionable level to, uh, always, you know, keep the feeling of, you know, just because they have a good amount of gear doesn't mean they're safe. You want to keep it balanced to the best of your ability, but I mean that's just how I will, uh, you know, make these missions that, to each man. their own. You must have great no, we're in the we're in the fucking fucking thing. Watch, I'm moving south of Stevens. Let's go. Oh my god, we're walking down the fucking path of like what the fuck. I mean, Strat, I always um. I'm liking the reactions I'm hearing here from all these skeletons. Do you want us to check? The th no, fuck, I ain't checking the whole bodies. Fuck that shit. Oh, right. I forgot. I teleported over here. I would have totally, like, closed the door in front of him just to spook him. Let's move the drum, guys. I think Drum's using the CPW to snipe some of the zombies over here. But yeah, no, I always, um... When I build Zeus missions, it's one of the two reasons. Uh, one, the more likely one, it's because I want to play it, or B, someone asked me to make it. Uh, in this particular scenario's case, it's a mix of both. Uh, Drum wanted this idea, but I was more than happy to make it because this would be something I want to play, you know?
Yeah, he was just stuck in a tree pathfinding wise. That's cool. But again, as they go through areas, and since they're not going to come back up here, I can just delete all that, because the less stuff you have down on the server, the uh, better it performs. I can delete that. We can delete all the spawn skeletons over here. Yeah, right, oh, Thunder, buddy. Hold your, uh... Hold your teddy bear tight if it's a, if it's a Ted reference for your name. Otherwise, I'm sorry I brought it up. Making jokes. Was that? Does anybody have any turrets? Negative. We still got more uh, walkers coming in from the north. Oh, you're not that late. Probably gonna let them play for another 50 minutes, give or take. But again, I tried to you know for this one I made a little uh you know 360 barricade feel. But it's incomplete. Yeah, and you just add to the skeletons. There is an element or two of horror that you might see in the later ops, but... For now, again, we're just keeping things light. Well, you don't want to be missing that many shots for that gun. I suck with this gun. <laughs> you even just heard him bring it up. So I like the dynamicness of uh, Gulf Coast. It'll be foggy in the mornings when they operate, but the fog will clear up later. And then, you know, I can just delete the skeletons now that they're done with this area. And if I need to, I can just respawn them later. So yeah, also the zombies will spawn in construction crates. I'm just pulling them out of them because nothing's weirder than zombies stuck in crates. Then again, if you want it that way for ambience, it would be cool to like, you know, go up to a crate and just hear the zombie be mad. But the zombie can go right up to the edge of the crate and hit people through it or they can um, just phase through the crate. So it's an element I generally don't have. How's chat doing? It's a dock compound. You guys want to check it or do you want to keep moving? I hope they check it because I want them to. I just want to hear the reaction of seeing that sunk uh, frigate right there. There's a good amount of loot, but it's on top of the crates. Actually, the more I look at this loot, the more it looks uh, like meh, but it's loot nonetheless. Oh, there's a tent up here. So they're making the decision to go for it. That looks like a broken lighthouse. Zombie left. They called that house a broken lighthouse, and no one was looking around, and... Little zombie news reporter coming in there. Jesus. I'm all right. I had a um, I had a school presentation to do today, and it sucked because it's like a three-hour online class. But they held the presentation towards the end, and I don't know why they do that. Because I'm one of those types of people that gets really nervous waiting for their presentation. So by the uh, time it was time for me to present, I made so many mistakes because I was just you know a little ball of anxiety there. Another AF I got fragged. Uh, on the other side of that wall, watch out. Uh, I have no control of these zombies because they are set to empty units that are spawned via script. So, watch this. Cannot switch to empty unit. I can't Zeus it. So, it's literally all server side control. And there's nothing I can do about it. And I didn't mean to delete that group. I was trying to delete bodies, but that's okay. Stuff happens. Oh, funny yeah, lobster. You know, actually, it wouldn't be that hard to make a, uh, a zombie on fire effect.
What would it be? It would be a spawn option. It would be a spawn effect. Custom fire. Hit OK. No fire damage, because that would kill it. Effect size 5. Probably shrink it down to 1, but yeah, and then you would just attach it. That's for something later. And I just I just gave a little wink right there. You got some guys bandaging up. These things spawn on destroyers. That's that's amazing. Yeah, let's see if I can sneak a zombie up on it. Yeah, they're moving away from it. Um, yes, it can. Uh, you can actually turn the damage off, though. You can edit how much damage it does, but it's vanilla damage, so you generally want to keep that off uh, because this is a, uh, you know, Ace overhauls the damage models. Yeah, the Mosin. Oh, okay. I got, I got two clips for you. Wow, there's actually two cars in this area. Neat. Not sure if they'll find this one, though. Okay, there you go. Thanks. Well, so you can set it to harm players, but it's gonna do <laughs> vanilla damage and not ace damage, and that's a major headache you gotta get over. Um, or you could just, like, you know, pre-scripts the fire effects in Eden. There's there's a lot of ways to do it. It's Arma, it's an open sandbox, but, you know, from the module method I just pulled up to show you guys, uh, that one, you'd have to turn the damage off because it's vanilla damage. And the issue with vanilla damage is if you give them too much vanilla damage, uh, it'll cripple them. Especially since it's uh, damage to their uh, legs. And then they'll just be perma crippled because there's no way an ace for you to heal that. Unless you get shot in the leg and then bandage it, and then it might override it, or if you pack. Half -sunk destroyer. Yeah, so they figured out that was a half sunk destroyer. Nice. Again, all part of the ambience. Yeah, Stevens, let's move the drum team, grab the ammo. Hey, right oh blonde. Again, it's all part of the player experience here. So as long as they're enjoying it, having fun, seeing all the crazy shit on their end, then I'm uh, I'm happy with it. I'm really proud of this uh, level of work I put into this one. So. What is this fucking guy made out of? <laughs> oh, Jesus. And they just shot each other. <laughs> oh, buddy, are you alright? Did you get grazed? Fucking twin. Look at the fucking murder. Ah, oh, that's great. Alright, where do I want to put these for? I'll put them down uh, over here. So all the zombies have the same uh, health uh, and damage rebalance. I have their default health turned up a little bit. I don't know what else we need in that equation. But uh, it's all about where your accuracy oh. lies. This lets us find one that seats more people. Yeah, if they go into this town, there's multiple Vicks that have spawned, a quad bike and two more uh, hatchbacks. like they're fixing up the Did wheels on it ready? uh not yet but here i'll give you the other tire all right
Yeah, they're gonna get the wheels up on her. But yeah, like I said, um, uh, as I have written in the mission command, uh, by the end of this or the beginning, like right at the beginning of the next uh, op we do, I'm going to give them Vic so they can get around this map a bit easier. Because uh, I think they're going to go down the hospital route, which means uh, that's the one where it requires a lot of traveling. So I want to give them the uh, ability to do that transport a bit earlier. Since they have Vix now, I don't really have to hide the simulation of this submarine. Ah, uh, Hurricane Pass. But I think with this now, I can... do... this little section. Just as a test. Yeah, we we would need a loud gun. I might have to wait till they're in town over there to do that snippet. Because again, I was hoping they go for the plane and I tested audio right there, but... I'll give a rifle shot or two just to... Uh, try to get their attention, or at least make them think about this. Yeah, no, Gulf Coast, uh, it's because Drum wanted a, uh, a U.S.-based map, so I uh, did my best to find one. Okay, no, they, they hear that. Cool. So here's where the fun begins on uh, this. Why do you have a line attached on that side? That Okay, whatever. <coughs> Let's see, change side. This is just going to be an invincibility sweep, so... Again, making our big bad do things. But I gotta teleport over to actually activate the units because of the uh, type of render system we have going here. Wow, these guys have shitty accuracy. They haven't killed a single one yet. So Yogi's scouting out ahead with the freaking car. I'm just gonna go in there and shoot them. Because that's kind of ridiculous that they're still alive, you know? Wow, that guy just missed a shotgun blast at point blank. And now we're starting to run into the uh, headless client's range issue. That's okay. We just needed them to be aware of the gunfire. So in a few more minutes after that, I will uh, go ahead and put the chopper out. I think they're exchanging uh, ammo for uh, guns and whatnot. Shuffling around here. So cars pulled up ahead. How are we on a uh, body watch here? I can go ahead and delete some of this stuff. We should be A-OK -okay with that. Do they have chances to become allies with factions? So when I originally drafted this, I did add a lot of roleplay elements, but then Drum told me he, uh, okay, never mind, never mind. he didn't want roleplay elements for this campaign, so no. But the original version, which the T3s might play uh, in a month or two or three or never, because it's up to them if they want to play it. Uh, so kind of mags for that thing, but it takes the same mags as my pistol. Or, I'm just we'll see. Fucking... Yeah. 
We will see, we will see, we will see. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. Don't waste the ammo. So they're leaving that gun behind because uh, its ammo is pretty niche, to be perfectly honest. So its engine's a little banged up, but I mean everything else about it's fine. They're taking it slow. So it's just RNG that they found that Vic. They swung south when, in all honesty, they needed to swing north. Now, I don't want to pull the helicopter to the south because that's where the uh, government forces are hiding out, but... So that's coming into view. Yep, bodies are uh, despawning as they move away. A little bit of a wobble there, but again, just trying to make sure there's no way in hell they can uh, put a car through here. So I'm going to be a jerk. And put a 113 in the way. That's the pinnacle. What else going to do is uh, disable this puppy simulation. Again, military's back there, and I don't want to have to render all that in just yet. No, they can't steal the submarine. Yeah, I saw the new Arma 3 DLC. I'm a little peeved at my uh, contact who was telling me it would be Korean War themed. And I'm not really... I'm not that excited for it because a lot of the assets I saw we have in mods already. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm excited for the new terrain, but I don't know. We'll see how things go. I'm gonna sneak this. Hold up, it's gotta be the uh, unarmed version for the black. And let's get these guys out of there.
And if I can, I'll put some, uh... Dead zombie bodies in the corner of one of the base, uh, of that base. So I'm going to cheekily try to break one of their wheels or something when they do that. But that in turn just fix their engine somehow. What? Advanced damage, why do you do this to me? It just reset all the damage component values. Amazing. I hate this game. <laughs> Liru tries to uh, show that running zombies over will, uh, you know, damage your Vic because I can't get that fucking script to work. Game. Nah, fam, we're just gonna fix the car. Well, that's annoying. Almost as annoying as uh, this floating stuff over here, which I can't really do anything about other than delete the piles. Ah, so I'll just delete that. Arma is a perfectly wonderful game, ladies and gentlemen, with exactly zero, I say again, zero bugs. I'd say it's Todd Howard for It's Just Works, but, you know, if you actually look up the history, the first person to start coining that term was Steve Jobs. Would zombies bleed? I guess it would be old blood. That's okay. We can put loot in it and carry a lot of shit. Yeah, so they're gonna use it to carry loot. Here's the real fun we can have. With the super scary boyos. And his name's Kirby. Oh, isn't that interesting? It's from, uh, that's a reference to the uh, original campaign for uh, Arma 3. Give me an M82, please. And with no range car, this will surely be interesting. MOS. 
Night Stalker. Something just rammed itself into my glass window. Ah, that'll have to do. Right, I need to teleport over. Because of that render thing. Yeah, not the best scope, but... Okay, we just need to harass him. What would you think the range is between that position and mine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's literally a kilometer. Which this scope actually ranges out to. Interesting. How's the wind? It's blowing a little to the right. Oh, there's no way in hell I'm going to score a hit with this scope at this range. But what I'm trying to show is this guy is a big gun. He's got a lot of ammo to burn. And he looks spooky. So, hypothetically, if I put this out to a click, it's actually a little under a click. So, in between the dot and the dash, so about 950. Oh, right, this gun is loud. It's gonna attract zombies. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just delete them. Did I? Gonna hot shot you, Yogi. Oh. Hot shot at you and then fucking move. I actually hit someone? <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> that happened. Okay then. Move, move, move. Neat. You know, okay, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It, there's a curse with drum where if you blind fire near drum's position, you more often than not hit him. So I'm really glad I just didn't hit him out of all people because that curse is very, very lethal. But I gotta, I gotta stop killing people. <laughs> Wasn't even mean to hit it. I didn't even know the range of my gun. 
nothing about me matches. Uh, uh, Hudson, you grab it. Yeah, it's Marpat. Mm, yeah. Yes. I don't found a ghillie suit. I mean, it's I got I some, did. uh, got some fetish fry again. Now, the real fun is do I bring the helicopter back, uh, and, uh, do some minigun work? And then do I wave it off with the, uh, with a UH 60? No, he didn't die. They brought him back. station. I'm just trying to think. I'd probably have to attach myself under uh, one of the helicopters to make sure it wouldn't run out of room to fly away. But I don't want to spook him just yet. I'll leave that for the next episode where we show the two uh, where the military is fighting off with these guys. Save a few things in my pocket, you know? Brings up here. He's got a medium optic sight on a 5.56 rifle. That's interesting. Say that again? Is how much fuel in the color left? Yeah, so they're gonna go north just to grab the gas station, but that's also gonna lead them to the other Vicks that were right there. I hope they do respawn. If they don't, I'll drag one over there. Yep, cool. They're locally cached. Uh, the 506, I'm no expert on it. I think they're, um, they're, uh, an airborne milsim unit. Because they usually use, um, Chinooks and Blackhawks to move around, and they have, uh, Little birds and uh, Apache gunships and uh, A-10s tied with them. In this specific mission, they are uh, just dudes that have been surviving for the past three years. Not necessarily military, just dudes that were living on a boat. And the boat uh, ran aground because they uh, were running out of supplies. Water. Yeah, I mean, Blonde, I mean for this to, like, fit in the same universe, but... It'll work, work. And the rib would be fine, uh... The sixth finger. Just the water would give them a little bit of radiation, but they, they'd be able to handle it. So at this rate, they're going to get the second vehicle and be able to uh, get on top of this position. So I'm going to start prepping it. Oh, wow. The render. The render! Game, why you do this? Just to make sure it didn't take any damage, and then we'll, uh... Put a full group of guys up there. It won't, uh... Copy until, uh, someone goes over there, so... That's for later. So we had one Vic dismount. I'm hoping they check the rest of this area, or at least, you know, there's three other places they can find a car, so. 
There'll be another four man, so they'll be able to take it. Huh, usually, uh, Ravage overrides this even with Ace to give it only limited fuel, but... Thirty-seven. I guess there is an exception. Oh, I think he got excited because he saw this M wrap. Thought it was uh, a drivable one. Yeah, I searched it. Hopefully those dead bodies stayed cached, otherwise... No, we keep finding mags for them, but we've never actually... Okay. Yeah, so this range, uh, with the radiation damage... I think this amount would be fine, but anything longer. So they might ditch the car and go on the boat instead. I'm getting in the gun. Can't believe you found an ACOG duo with that gun. Map, yes, Gulf Coast is on the workshop. Uh, Gulf Coast, I think, is only one word in Steam, though, so... It's there, though. We used it in the last TSB rotation. So I'm willing to bet they're going to take that boat down and uh, go to the first hospital. Or Gulf Coast Islands, yeah. I mean, if you Google Gulf Coast Arma 3, the map should pop up, though, so. Shrug. But yeah, we'll wrap this up in another... We'll wrap it up when they go to the second hospital. So unfortunately, they're going to miss the other two cars that were in there, but... Yep, have fun, Barb. Ow. So where, where's, like, Middlebury and Hudson? Uh, we just left the... Now we're getting back here, uh, chased by zombies. Excuse me. They'll take the boat. Uh, they'll take the boat while uh, those other guys come around. We see this in Friday Night Fights. It's the perception of you know not knowing what's a little ahead of you, and it's kind of funny that you know there's plenty of other cars here, but Gulf Coast Islands. It's it's a map that you know can be very accessible by boat anyway. So. We'll see how it all goes. But again, to me, this is the pinnacle of Zeusing. At least my own personal definition of it, where you just have a massive scenario, you've worked with a shit ton of conversion scripts to make something like this happen, and this is what you have you know what you have going for you essentially, you know?
Like, you're just sitting back, letting them have their own adventure, and uh, you're just facilitating that adventure. Now, of course, Arma's more of a military sandbox shooter, so not all ops are going to be like this, but... It's nice to have. Yeah, no, we're not going to do the helicopter fight just yet. But once that boat's right there, I'll uh, activate it. Nope, they're going to do an earlier dismount. And there's actually a crashed helicopter wreck. So that'll uh, let them catch things. Feel first. Yeah, that's fine. It's because I spawned in earlier on the server to uh, do some changes and whatnot. And they used that for a little bit of fast transport. They left a little bit of room from the town. How hard would it be uh, doing op with the DayZ mod? Uh, impossible because, like, what I've essentially made here is Daisy, but you can't take the game Daisy and integrate it back into Arma 3 because they literally run separate engines. Because Daisy was the the engine test for Arma 4. Uh, the original DayZ mod ran on Arma 2, but there's no Arma 3 compatibilities for DayZ. If you see someone playing DayZ with Arma 3, it's heavily scripted like this, usually using Ravage. Might find a few using, uh, I, I did find one that used uh, Ryan, Zombies, and Demons with Vandenson's Apocalypse. So they're coming back to the boat here. This will mean I can uh, get this nice little ambient shot. Did he just say want to fight? Eventually, also find one of these that'll stare back at him. Soon. Military compound to the south on the north side of Santa Fe. Mentally noted. I'm going to lift this chopper off. That car is getting close. Make sure that they PID that this was on the hospital. So I might wait here for a hot tick.
I'm gonna keep it running, but I'm gonna put... Oh, well. He wants to go. So I'm gonna put a bunch of dead zombies in here. Just to kind of show that, uh, something was just over here. What I can actually do further. How close are they to the hospital? Uh, they're getting close. I got some time. We can, if I find these quick enough. Where are those little, uh, pelican boxes? Oh, PLP containers, why? So I'll give him a warm oh, yes, ALS. Yes, okay. Does these come loaded? Custom fire. No, 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 it would be under spawn. Let's do zero effect size four. Lift it up a little bit. And then another effect for custom smoke. And I'll eventually clear that up. Here, I'll keep the documents folder. Make our own little pile of trash. I prefer right. soft shell tacos, but all tacos are good. Like I've had both, love both. I I freaking love. What is that smoke? Try cover your fucking mouth, dude. What? Cover your mouth if you couldn't do that smoke. <laughs> is it like in is that box in that fire? Yeah, it's like burning medical supplies. That's of course it is. Oh, I could have just end keyed them. That would have gotten rid of their inventories. Ay, ay, ay. That chopper's gone out of view. Trader? I mean, food is food is food. As long as the food tastes good. 
Yeah. And it's a okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, drum, I got a shotgun over here behind the medical counter. Uh, IZH 18 12 case. What is this shit burning on the floor there? They burned medical supplies because they're heartless. Because they're heartless? <laughs> You know, there was some AI in this town, or at least nearby, and I don't know where they went. They're gonna start heading over to this. So this, uh, this was, uh, this is one of the random elements of Andenson, which I decided to keep. But, uh, the chopper I spawned in to kind of showcase one of the big bad factions, that's, uh, that was spawned by me. Manually. I don't know, some people like the crunch of the texture of hard shell, some like, uh, soft shell. I, I like the squish. I got nothing. Oh wait, there is something there. There is something. So each of them can pull something different out from a box. And we might see some There's really. A box that looks like it fell out of chopper with a bunch of stuff in it. Everyone can pull something different out of those. So yeah, these guys are just farming zombies. I waited till I crossed the street so they didn't see me drag him out of the other guy because it zombies can clip into each other and it makes some really weird texture glitch stuff. Uh, all right, they found another vehicle over here, so that's good. Yeah, the loot's per player for everything, because uh, the scripts are handled client-side when they process them, so everyone... I kind of like it as a feature, because that means everyone can look at a zombie body and find something different. Some might not find something anything at all. Uh, same goes for, you know, looting garbage bins, uh, choppers. I got him. Nope. This box right here. I don't even know where the next hospital would be besides up north. Anyone More it? fucking tall dude. Oh, you marked Something's empty. Jeez. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's another here. There's another 30 round mag for you. Yeah, but everyone. Right here on the ground. Yeah, we I'm putting it in your backpack. To I'm gonna pull one out and see if they make the connection. Use for the night vision optic? I mean, so yeah. what I just pulled out yeah. grenade, a virus injector. The night vision. Oh. What? Hey guys, M24, M14. Oh, I see. With suppressor. Oh boy. A sec. <laughs> yeah, so. Apparently, a lot of fucking crates up at this uh, crash chopper, so let's get up here. Figure can vary. Loaded. We'll, uh, 
We'll bring him back to the hospital and leave this hospital for a night. Yeah, so they're gonna camp the hospital. Okay. That's a good call. But yeah, that was up. Uh, hmm? Shot the box. Why don't you get a fucking helmet? Grab, I did. I, I was trying to grab the one in here, but someone grabbed it. Open the gunshots. We'll uh, just attract more yeah, zombies again, help this. burn out some of their ammo. Yeah, I, I just swapped it out. What was the other gun that was in there? Uh, M14, I think he said. I grabbed the M14. Great, get all the fucking goddamn N14 mags out of my backpack. I'm sick of carrying them. Okay, I'm gonna repack here. Alright, let's see. I found an antivirus and a D40 uh -huh. fucking grenade or whatever. Hold on to it. Everyone should have an, at least one antivirus injector. Alright. And I have some more. Uh, this is totally player driven. Uh, there's three uh, potential endings, uh, depending on the path they're going on, but they're going through the hospital route, which means they'll... Uh, how, how it's going to go is they're going to keep hitting the hospitals, and they're going to uh, go to another site, and then another site, and then it'll end. Uh, and it'll end in a lot of uh, shooting. I do not have a pistol. I got a 762 suppressor. But yeah, no, the the hospitals they marked them all up. Uh, so one right here, 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 here. This guy has a fucking. The more hospitals they hit, the closer they get to the Men in Black. Well, one ending involves the Men in Black with the hospital stuff. Another ending involves the military on the bottom left, and then the other ending is they just leave the islands. It's not a tequila. <laughs> The big plume of smoke. The uh the the men in black will have a big boom. There will be a a uh, big boom in that one. But it's not guaranteed. What happens if a player dies, they lose all their gear, and then I teleport them close by uh, the remaining players. The punishment is that they lose all the gear, and I have a bunch of zombies swarm their bodies, so it's difficult to get the uh, thing back. Now, I'm not guaranteeing there will be a big boom, quote-unquote, in the uh, campaign, they're, the route they're currently going. They have to do... Something That's specific. Hudson, did you not want that uniform or that helmet that we found? God said, but so we'll see. The road, two of them. Again, it's this is purely player driven. Whether or not they understand not what they're doing the is uh, anything there. More Zeke's northwest. Yes. Yeah. So the last, the Born Home incident ended with them getting recruited by the. Uh, the uh, faction with all the black stuff, so. You're welcome, Charlie. The thing is, that was I like. Anyway, so. That was. Uh, how do I put it? That campaign was like as the outbreak happened. I got a woodland uniform over here. Um, if not like a week it's after the out. outbreak started on the island, Someone this is supposed uniform. to be like years later Anyone in the whole timeline of things. The SCP Ant Foundation, not the SCP Foundation, though. I'm sure you do. You know, uh, like, get all the little homebrew. Crash site? Looks like it, sir. Get this 762 suppressor oh, on that M14. No one else has something that can use it. It it doesn't work with my M14 for some okay. reason. Oh, wait, we can't siphon. All right, let's get back to the, uh, let's get back, let's get this Vic back to the hospital. Get our tent set up and get all the This was a bust. Aside from all the fucking ammo and. 
useful shit we found. Yeah, so this one will have a bit more ammo because that's the one Griggs just pulled out. Uh, someone missed a fucking box over here. I should put the mission file on Patreon or something. That would be an interesting venture, actually. The issue with it is... I'd have to then, like, gather the mod sets, and then I might have to do stability support for it, because if a mod updates, it could break everything, because I've had that happen twice. Uh, already, and I, I wouldn't want to be responsible for that, you know what I mean? Like, if you want the mission file, or you want the components of it, like, for the, uh, the, all the Vandenson settings and stuff, I can... I can give them to you, but then I'd have to tell you what to change out of it, because there's some files that are unique to the 506 I'm not allowed to give out, and then there's some files unique to TSB, which I had to get permission from Makarov to use for this mission that I'm also not allowed to give out. And if you try to load those, um, it could potentially break your mission, so I tell you where to find those to pull them out, but... You know, it's, it's difficult, because everything is uh, niche. You know what I mean? Yeah, so anti-personnel mine, another 20 round mag, full of the tents. There's a fucking AP mine over here. If you didn't search the helicopter, come back and search it and see if you can find anybody. Yeah, so they just figured out that the searching's client side off the helicopter. So Griggs is running back, but I thought he already pulled something out. They're uh, getting some stuff and pushing it around as well. But you know, when you work between so many communities, there's such really, there's some really cool stuff you can get from community XYZ, but, you know, like for example, TSB Assets, we have a lot of cool stuff in there, because we have Makarov, who goes through all of these uh, Russian mods, and then makes them compatible, uh, and then he recompiles them in TSB Assets, so... You know, to, TSB has a lot of unique things. The 506 have all their recustomized config work uh, for what they do. And then you got places like Friday Night Fights, which have a bunch of config files to rescript the damage models of everything so the PvP is more fair. So, you know, when you, when you work between all of these places, uh, all of them have their own unique mod sets and whatnot. That's why I kind of don't want to put the mission files out publicly because you most people would have no idea how to use them you know have i played fallout 76 hell no i don't play trash it's an ar-15 with mag holes box in here defender bipod Nice. When I finish school, though, I am going back to Project 10, and we are, uh, aka, we're make, we're uh, gonna remake Project 77. So. In the vest. Don't leave that shit in there. I'll make my own Project 76 again. 
because we we had it ready to go. I just wanted to finalize some storyboard stuff. We were literally like three weeks away from the start of it, and then uh, January Ace update that redid everything, um, broke it. But for those of you that don't know, uh, about half a year ago, we took the aftermath mod, which is the Fallout mod for Arma. Uh, I took the God, what's the map called? It's um. It's a post-apocalyptic map uh, that's like it's supposed to be around Ukraine. And ooh, the fog got really thick. It's going to clear up by noon, though. Um, and I made literally a uh, with uh, a few extra Zeus's as RP guys. Um, we made a whole like Fallout 3 themed open world thing, but it also had like an NCR expansion. It had a, a sect of Brotherhood of Steel. We had some Raider factions, some super mutants uh, that we pulled from the orc models from 40k. We had all this stuff ready to go, and then. Uh, it was also all tested, all balanced out, like, perfect. Um, and then the Ace Medical overhaul update happened, and it completely broke everything. And the Aftermath devs said they didn't have an ETA for when they'd get the new medical update out, because a lot of places were overworking that medical. And I started my next semester of school, and I didn't have time to do it, so I shelved that idea. And now, uh, like, all the compats for that are out again, so I can take a second crack at it. But, um, I'm gonna wait till after school, because I've got like, this one class to accept so much of my fucking time every week. It's anywhere from, like, five to ten hours of work a week, and it's, ugh. The other two classes are easy. But, you know, that's, that's why it's called Project 7, or, excuse me, Project 10, a.k.a. Project 77, because it's basically taking the concept of Fallout 76 and then making it an Arma, just with a few actors and uh, Zeus to kind of control everything. But players uh, would have, uh, they would have had their own inventory save system with arsenals. Now I can just do it with I and IDB too. Um, and uh, there's also a stat system. So for example, they'd be coming out of a vault uh, because there's a lot of stuff that's broken in the vault. But if they fix their auto dock, for example, taking the ideas from uh, Big Mountain, they can find upgrades for that auto dock. So um, they can have uh, augmented night vision, you know, cat eye. Uh, they can have, uh, oh God, what were some of the other things now that I'm thinking about it? There were other augmentations I could give them uh, to, you know, upgrades essentially if they found certain things. And that was just one of the minor components of uh the campaign the major uh component was there were um two sides that they could uh work with or they could go independent because i love fallout new vegas's way of doing things and there was plot lines and like key battles for each of them you know that's in i'm getting in i'm getting in oh, click click go I fully intend to go back to it. Um, I, uh, I put this in a Patreon message back in early August. If um, And that was, if I had the time, I would start reworking it in September and plan to start it, you know, in December. But um, with school being a lot busier than I'd like, uh, what's going to end up happening is I got to find somewhere. Like, I got to get myself situated with my work now, uh, hopefully by the end of this month, if not mid-October. Uh, and then I can start looking at it in November and then, you know, maybe doing an hour or two, or two of work a week in, uh, in the op for that. Since now, at least with Project 12 here, I have a lot more experience with, um... With, uh, Ravage and Vandenson's Apocalypse. And I can make some more advanced drop tables because I outsource all that work because I was very new to that uh, those concepts. But yeah, it was gonna be like a, a sixteen to twenty player mm -hmm. thing. I was still working out like the exact sweet spot for that map. But I'm also thinking about changing the map entirely to like Chernar, um, Chernar's Redux or something.
someone grab this oh. IED and this AP mine from my flashlight. I can't take it out of my fucking person. Who's that? Some wounded. Ooh. Hey. Hi. Hola. Guys, enjoy your walk. How did you, how did you get here with no shoes? Well, you know, I lived on a boat most of my life. You get used to it. Got big calluses in my feet. Was that the same boat that was crashed over by the other bridge? Nope. Uh, the the submarine. <laughs> well, they don't call it Hurricane Pass for nothing. Anyway, when you guys uh, decide to take your naps in your tents, make sure uh, you have your earplugs out. So they uh, stay with you. I'd uh, hate for the earplugs to go further in your ears so you aren't able to get them. And I'd uh, make sure that those uh, extra guns you got on your backs, uh, those rifles, for example, you uh, just put those in the tents or something. Because um, when you go to sleep and wake up with all your uh, stuff, you, uh, you might find that rifle to be missing if you uh, leave it on your back. I can't put shit in this tent. I'm putting this rifle in here. I'm now, uh, just in case there's uh, no room in these tents or that a little metal box, uh, medical box over there, uh, stuff that's put in the car will uh, also be there tomorrow. It will, okay. Can I tell him to put these, uh, these in this box for me? I'll, uh, I'll give a little prayer to the car and uh, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll wait off uh, bad juju. Do we want to switch from that car to that SUV we found? Was SUV working? <laughs> so basically, I um, how I re, uh, how I roll oh, over so these uh, tents and whatnot is there's uh, a little script I run where any object I interact with while that script is running, it caches it to INIDB2, which is the mod that we use where it saves all of their character stats, such as food, water, uh, and ace damage. Uh, though I never got the ace damage working right, uh, and I abandoned that project. That's why we don't have the dedicated okay, server with this stuff on it, because I couldn't outsource the work either, because no one knew how to do it. Um, but it also saves everything in their inventory, even the amount of, uh, bullets in their individual magazines. It's very in-depth, I love it. But, uh, there's a script I run where then, uh, it gives me a highlighted scroll wheel option, and then I just, you know, click on that while I'm looking at the objects, and then I can check an INIDB2, and there'll be a little, uh, config file that, uh, gets edited, and it'll, uh, save the items over. Um, cause basically what I have to do is I delete that file from the server, uh, and then, uh, remake it, and then I save it. To ensure my, uh, Easy. My stuff's good. Just being here is fine. Okay. The script is a scary rifle monster stealing rifles from their backs. Well, that's because I and IDB2 doesn't save the left shoulder scripted weapon script that they're using to ca uh, keep weapons on their backs. Uh, also, it doesn't, you know, count the earplugs in their ears. So that's why I said, hey, take those out of your ears. So, you know, they stay in your inventory so they're rolled over. Makes it easier. Where is he at? But, you know, I'm just trying to find lore-friendly reasons to, or ways to tell him this stuff. <laughs> and it also saves their position, so if they crash out, they'll come back and it'll be, you know, they'll start from where they were. And if I need to, I can teleport them up. But also, uh, once we, you know, leave, I shut the server down, we come back the next time uh, in either two or four weeks, uh, it'll just put them back there. It's an in-depth save file system, and it uses the server as a database to save all the information because it ties it to their ARMA 3 UIDs, which is what I use to make myself my own Zeus module without tying it to a slot because my players like to sometimes hijack my Zeus slot.
All right, so now they're all starting to disconnect, so I'm going to start cutting the stream here, guys. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for a BIA op that I will JTAC at 3 p.m. Uh, TSB operation, which will either be uh, the start of a last ship-themed campaign or a one-off, depending on my mood for making stuff later tonight and tomorrow morning, uh, because I've got two different ideas I want to do, and I'm literally just going to flip a coin based off my mood and uh then we'll do the tmtm at night so like i said a lot of stuff i'm making so you guys can enjoy it but more importantly the player base can enjoy playing it so thank you so much for watching guys go operate operationally enjoy the rest of your day or night hopefully i'll see you tomorrow i'll make sure this gets to twit um excuse me youtube within the next two or three days because i know people like this campaign otherwise cheers have a good one go operate operationally uh you know actually let's um let's go raid someone real quick i'm sorry i did my outro i'm like wait no we Thank you.